Inside the Bay, brought to you by Bay of Quinty Tourism. Stevenson here for Inside the Bay. I'm at Dream Lake, and it is a dream. We're just north of Napanee, home of the 2016 National Barefoot Water Ski Championships. We're also going to be hosting the World Championships here shortly. We're going to be talking with some of the people uh, involved with that championship. You know, just behind us is this man-made lake, so we're going to talk to the owners. Uh, also talk to some of our, uh, our MP, our MPP, and some of the skiers themselves, the organizers. Uh, so stay tuned. everybody to uh, Dream Lake. This is the site of the uh, 2016 Canadian National Barefoot Water Ski Championships and we have a very important announcement today that uh, in 2018 the world is coming to Napanee. The World Barefoot Water Ski Championships will be held right here at Dream Lake in August of 2018. Now this is a very important milestone for our sport but even so, more so for Canada. This is the first time that Canada has ever hosted a World Championships. for water ski team that are going to Wisconsin to compete at the World Championships there next week. Marcel Brunet, Dwayne Godfrey, Becky Meyer, Graham Allen, and Gordy Couteau. Here with Alan Moynes, chair of the 2018 World Organizing Committee. You know, we were just talking off camera. This is an amazing media event. And so if this event is any indication of what 2018 is going to be like, you must be pretty excited. We are very excited. This is, uh, we've been to, I've been to personally to uh, uh, the World Championships in several locations around the world. Yeah. And uh, we are very excited to bring them here. We now have a site. Well, uh, since we got hooked up with Dwight here, we have a site that is second to none, and uh, and we now have the opportunity. The, the desire has been there to bring it to Canada. The problem, the biggest issue is always having a site that is suitable, and we've got one here, and it will be awesome because Dwight will do what it takes yeah. to make it happen. here with Dwight who's the owner of this beautiful property he called Dream Lake. Yep. What's the motivation to call it Dream Lake? Uh, 25 years of dreaming you know and doing things that people think you couldn't do and yeah. just getting her done but yeah that's about it. It's been really neat talking to the Moynes family as they put the committee together put the bid together working closely with you and obviously you know you're hosting the 2016 Nationals here this weekend you've had other big events here throughout the years. Oh, yeah. It's really neat to hear how committed and motivated you are, and you're not even really part of the water ski community. So where's that come from? That comes from working hard and paying it forward, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Um, you know, we're all here just a short time, so you try to do as much as you can when you're here, and when you have something as nice as this is, it's nice to share it with people. with MPP Todd Smith, MP Neil Ellis, two guys who have been really instrumental parts of this community, Bay Quinney region, for a long time now. I thought you said something very interesting. You said, you know, volunteers put the unity in community. 
Uh, here we are. This is the site of the 2016 Nationals this weekend, but also the 2018 World Championships. So how important is it to have that community rallying around something like this? And definitely, and it's it's all the, the background work behind these events, not only the volunteers, uh, but the sponsors. And you see the group of sponsors that have jumped aboard. And uh, uh, in this area, in East Ontario, I, I think with volunteers and sponsors, uh, we probably have the best group. This stuff's huge for the region. And you know, again, from being on the radio, people talk about it. It's not just gonna be here. Yeah. This is a world championship we're yeah, bringing yeah. in. So this is international media. So, you know, how do you see this being beneficial to the region in terms of that scope? Oh, it puts us on the map, yeah. right? It puts Bay Aquini region on the map. It puts Belleville on the map. This one obviously puts the Napanee area on the map. Uh, you know, we've been fortunate to host a couple of world championships yeah. over the last little while. We had the World Floorball Championships here. It's gonna be great. I guess they've got uh, competitors coming from 12 different countries yeah. for the worlds. Uh, we've got the nationals here this weekend and uh, it's a great sport. I mean, it's one that you probably have to be a little bit crazy to do, <laughs> um, but but it looks like a lot of fun and, and a lot of really neat tricks. And uh, so we've got a local uh, person, obviously, who's yeah. had great success on the world stage as well, and Becky Moyne, so wish her the best here. And of course, uh, you know, barring any catastrophe, she'll be uh, performing as well for Canada in 2018. Obviously, you, you got nationals here this weekend, so you've hosted that. But what does it mean to be part of this team that's bringing the worlds to the region? It's absolutely amazing. I mean, we've got a really good group of barefooters in Ontario that have basically, like, they've kind of, we've all adopted each other's family, and it's just such a tight-knit group that we all work together and thrive off each other. And it's awesome to be able to put on the nationals and have people from down under come and ski and want to ski nationals but to put on worlds is going to be even bigger better and it's we're really looking forward to it super pumped so. okay so we got some footage of you brem doing a jump out on dream lake so tell me about what you were doing earlier um, yeah, well, we, uh, we were doing a little jump demo and, you know, conditions are a little chippier than, uh, than ideal this, uh, this morning, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. You hit the ramp and go flying in the air and see if you can go further than your buddy. And speaking of further than your buddy, you went further than a lot of buddies because you just broke a record. Yeah, actually, just, uh, I spent some time in Florida earlier in the summer and went to their, uh, Southern Regional Tournament and uh, ended up jumping uh, 26 meters. So the, uh, the previous record was 25.4 meters, so got a little further than... than and we're talking what type of record here? Um, well, it's, it's a distance jump record, right? And it, so it was set, I believe, in 99. So it, it's been a long-standing record. And say to people who are looking at this for the first time, wondering what it is, wondering how to get involved, wondering how difficult it is? Uh, not difficult, especially when you when people start at a younger age. Becky started when she was five years old, yeah. and, and it's like she has just grown with it. And even at the cottage on the weekend, we had a couple of neighbors come, uh, come by from the lake yeah. and, uh, hey, we'd like to try that. Tuck them out on the boom, and five minutes later, they're up on their feet okay. on the boom. So you can so make it happen in a day. We can make it happen. Like if there's, uh, if you want a barefoot, it can happen. Will there be opportunities leading into 2018 to have you know people from the general public who might be interested to come out and try it? We would be more than happy to. Cool. We, everywhere we go, uh, we're constantly telling people if if you want to try it, you just get a hold of us, okay. and we'll make it happen.